prominent leader of the Bharatiya Janata Party, Home Minister Amit Shah and Defence Minister Rajna Singh have launched a campaign in Assam and Arunachal Pradesh, relying support for the upcoming Lok Sabha election. As the first phase of polling approaches on April 19 in this state, Home Minister Amit Shah has taken to the podium, reassuring the people of Assam regarding their safety and security under the BJP watchful governance. Amit Shah has also seized the opportunity to draw parallels between the progress achieved by the government-led administration and the standstill witnessed during the tenure of the previous Congress government. As the Lok Sabha election in Assam unfold over April 19, 26 and May 7, the political atmosphere is charged with anticipations and enthusiasm. Let's take a look at the report. As the countdown to the forthcoming Lok Sabha elections intensifies, Bhartiya Janata Party prominent leaders, including Home Minister Amit Shah and Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, have started campaigning in Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. Five seats from Assam and two seats along with State Assembly elections in Arunachal Pradesh will go to vote in the first phase of elections scheduled on 19th of April. Addressing an election rally in Arunachal Pradesh, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh slammed China's attempt to rename places in Arunachal Pradesh, asserting that renaming of places will not change the ground realities. We want to maintain good relations with all our neighbours, but if anybody tries to harm our self-respect, India has the capability to give a befitting reply, the Defence Minister asserted. Recently, China released a list of 13 new names of various places along the line of actual control in Arunachal Pradesh, claiming as part of Southern Tibet. In the past two, China has made similar attempts to assert its claim on the northeastern state. In the meantime, the minister underscored the government's effort under Prime Minister Narendra Modi in rectifying past mistakes and enhancing infrastructure in the border areas of Arunachal Pradesh bordering China, emphasizing the development of strategically located villages, terming the people of Arunachal Pradesh as strategic assets, he praised the state's residents for their bravery during times of aggression with China. On the other hand, BJP National President J.P. Nada on Wednesday released the party's manifesto for Arunachal Pradesh. The manifesto promises the creation of robust infrastructure, women empowerment, employment and accountable governance. Simultaneously, addressing a poll rally in Assam, Home Minister Amit Shah underscored the Prime Minister Narendra Modi-led government's effort in curbing influx into the state a long-standing concern for the region. Shah maintained that the BJP-led government at the centre secured the country's border with Bangladesh and stopped infiltration and also asserted that China couldn't encroach a single inch of land under the BJP government. Shah said that Congress failed to protect the youth of Assam but the BJP government ensured the safety of Assamese by signing a peace accord with the militant groups. Due to the improved security situation, the Armed Forces Special Power Act has been withdrawn from 80% of the Northeast state, added the minister. Talking about Assam's development, the Home Minister said that compared to Congress governments in the previous years, Assam had experienced more development in the last 10 years. Notably, polling for all 14 Lok Sabha seats in Assam will be held in three phases on 19th of April, 26th of April and 7th of May respectively. Bureau Report